New at four as fall festivities are getting underway. It's been a slow start to the season with people having to dodge a lot of rain, a lot of rain. <laughs> 12 News meteorologist Katie McNeil has more on the impacts this weather has on local farms. Katie. Well, with the official start of fall this past Saturday, it's been tough for people to get outdoors and enjoy their favorite fall activities. And with all the rain we've seen, certainly has been impactful for local farms around the area. Like last weekend was a, a disaster. We, the crop is beautiful. I mean, we, we have the, the rain has treated as well as far as sizing the fruit, uh, you know, so it, it's they're ready to go. And now we need some nice weekends. While the apple crop has thrived this year, the pumpkin crop has had a harder time combating above average rains due to oversaturated soil. The, it's the hours of wetness, number one, and in, it, it, the, the amount of rain is an issue, but we have sandy soil, so that's not a, as big an issue as three, four days in a row of wetness. And uh, so there, there's been some issues with that. Uh, the pumpkin crop is not as great as it normally is. We still have a lot of nice stuff, but it's going to you should get out here early and, and try to get it before uh, it gets picked over. Despite the rainy start, Chris says he's hopeful for a busy season with the key being nice weather to get people outdoors to enjoy all the farm has to offer. Basically now we need some days like this to get people out here to, to pick some of this crop. That's what we're looking forward to. From Smithfield, I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil, 12 News.